Hey guys, welcome to Mark's TV. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think of the Plano 3700XL tackle bag after I've used it for one whole year. So let's dive in. All right guys, so we got the Plano 3700 bag here. So what you're going to get included with this bag is you're going to get three 3600 boxes, pretty standard boxes, but you're going to get one in the front, one on the left, one on the right. They all fit in there. You don't have to use them, but it's nice. One reason I chose this bag over many others is it comes fully packed with boxes. Um, because I didn't want to buy a bag and then have that an additional price. It also comes with seven 3,700 size boxes. Um, they're also, I mean, they're just a basic box, okay? But you can see I got a lot of storage organizers left, more than enough um, for what you're going to need. So that being said, let's go ahead and open it up and show you what it looks like. So um, the big compartment here has a really nice, really big zipper. I have not seen any wear and tear or anything that shows me that that's going to stop working anytime soon on any of the zippers on this whole thing. Now, um, before when I first got this, I had a little bit different setup, but right now I'm only running four of the boxes that came with it. And then I'm running two of these boxes, which are meant for your soft plastics. I don't think they quite hold as much as the previous version that I had, but um, they're a Plano box. You open up this side and you got two different compartments. You can attach your bags or your uh, soft plastics here. I just throw them in. I got my toad there, my dart. Uh, I got my swim baits here, maybe some of my trench hogs. Um, and I also run another one, uh, bandito bugs, um, different worms, craws, um, stuff like that. So these I found really nice. So what I used to use, um, stuck out of the bag these are actually a true 3700 so two of these replaced three of the original boxes um, so i don't have a ton of lures um, but i kind of got them decked out so i got my spinner baits spinner baits and jigs jerk baits big swim baits um, nice assortment of crank baits and these are all still kind of individual except for some that i found i kind of got them tacked up and then i also have um, my top water box, my frogs, my poppers, what have you. So I'm able to fit quite a bit of tackle in this main compartment, which is really nice. Um, and this holds all of my tackle that I use. Um, I might be expanding at some point, but right now it's still holding out pretty well. So that being said, we can close that up. And another thing with this top hatch is they got with the area they call the drop zone. So it has three little round magnets here. Um, if you had a stray lure or whatever, you can throw it on there. It's gonna stay pretty well, um, as long as you're getting the hook. Um, if you like, you know, the crankbait, just make sure you're getting the hook to stick to that. Um, you should be doing pretty well. Um, on the front compartment here, a nice addition. Um, I add this line cutter and I just leave it on the zipper. So whenever I need one, I know right where it is. Really nice thing to have. Okay. In my front compartment, I kept the 3600 box and I have all of my terminal tackle. I got my weights, my swim bait, um, hooks, all my different hooks for Texas rigging or whatever I'm going to do. So I got all that nice and easy accessible right up front. Okay. Then what's included is we got two rod holders is what these are supposed to be. You can unzip it, put a rod butt in, it's going to stick up. The only time I see that useful is when you're maybe fishing at the bank or whatever, and you want to put one of your rods in here while you're fishing with another one. But as far as like hiking with one, I don't think that's a great idea. I mean, it's going to be sticking up six, seven feet above your head, maybe not quite that high, but pretty high. Um, and then, so I run pliers. I got a set of pliers on both sides, rod snot on that side. Um, when it gets cold, that's kind of useful. Then on the two sides, I am not running um, the 3,600 boxes that are included, but I do have quite a bit of line on this side. This is just showing you how deep it is. So I got four spools of line right now, and I got four big plastics on that side as well. So that all fits pretty nice and easy on that side. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff in these side pockets if you want to, or you can run with the boxes that they give you. That's how I set it up. Now this side's a mess. So this side I have like a fillet knife kit. I got um, my wacky rig pliers, some bobber stops I need to get put somewhere, an extra weight, some charging wires for GoPros and whatnot. So a lot of stuff will fit in there. Um, same size compartment as this side. And then I also, in the side pocket, 
I have my scale. So whenever I catch fish, I don't have to unzip anything. It's always right there and I just leave it like that so I can grab it, boom, weigh a fish if I want to. And then for carrying this bag, um, you got two nice handles on each side, which is nice to throw in a car or whatever. If you're gonna walk somewhere, you got a nice shoulder strap that's adjustable. Um, that can be nice, you know, if I'm needing to walk short distances. And then let's say you wanted to walk a little bit farther. This is an extremely heavy bag, so this would not be long, long distances. But in the back here, they have backpack straps, a little bit of padding, and then you simply just clip it, pull this one out, and clip it. And I do use this from time to time. Um, like the other day, we were out at the lake, and we decided to hike to a pond or something like that. Boom. Pulled this out of the boat, put that in, we we're ready to go. That being said, the only thing that I really don't think that I've liked about it is just making sure I have a spot in my boat for it. Um, it's a decent sized bag. It's probably not going to fit any of your storage compartments, so I just got to leave it on the deck somewhere. But it hasn't been a problem. But if I started to do more fishing where I'm just in my own boat, I might start to put some of my tackle in there. But if you like to do different kinds of fishing, this seems to work great. And then the last thing I was going to show you guys is on the bottom. It's a nice hard, solid plastic bottom. Um, so it's not gonna get torn up or anything. It's gonna sit nice and sturdy on the ground. Um, but that being said, it is a fairly heavy bag. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I really do enjoy this bag um, and have enjoyed it for the past year. So please leave a comment below if you have any questions and uh, yeah, even the cats like it. Thanks for watching.